All right, Infiniteers, today we'll be getting a good look at the Poe Dameron and Kylo Ren figures from the Star Wars The Force Awakens playset. And we'll explore a brand new character adventure exclusively for Darth Maul. Plus, we're going to show you what you need to make your very own custom Sandy Claus figure. All that coming up on Toy Box TV. Happy holidays, everyone. For real, Allison, this has got to be the most exciting holiday season ever. Right? The Star Wars The Force Awakens playset launches on December 18th. And in this playset comes the Finn and Rey figures. But there are also some other Star Wars figures that we're very excited about. One of those is Poe Dameron, a trusted pilot of the Resistance who uses his expert flying skills to travel the galaxy. Check out that awesome blaster. This guy means business. And the formidable Kylo Ren, an enforcer for the First Order who terrorizes the galaxy. As if his mass space isn't intimidating enough, check out his crazy awesome lightsaber. You do not want to mess with this guy. Both Poe Dameron and Kylo Ren will be playable in the Star Wars The Force Awakens playset. And once you collect their champion coins, you can also use them in the Twilight of the Republic playset and the Rise Against the Empire playset. And of course, they're all playable in the Disney Infinity 3.0 toy box. The Star Wars The Force Awakens playset is currently available for pre-order. For more information, visit the official Disney Infinity website. <laughs> For those of you keeping up with the 25 Days to Christmas Countdown Toy Box, today is day number eight. Uh, so that means there's only, there's only 17 more days until Sandy Claus. Speaking of which, Nightmare Before Christmas fans are going to love what's up next. We recently had a chance to bring in Disney Infinity community member and longtime friend of the show, Evilos, to the Toy Box TV studio, where he showed us how to make a custom Sandy Claus figure out of Jack Skellington. Check it out! Hey guys, today I'm hanging out here with Eva Lowe, who many of you probably know as a talented custom artist and a huge Disney Infinity fan. So today I'm super excited because you're actually going to take this figure and turn it into a Sandy Claus, right? That's absolutely right. And today also you can use these techniques to make holiday versions of different characters throughout the product line. You know, Mr. Incredible would make a great Santa Claus too. Absolutely. Okay, what we have here is some of the basic items we're gonna need. We're definitely gonna need some paint. We have some acrylic paint. We have titanium white and a red, scissors. We're also gonna need some felt so we can create the Santa hat and his little cufflinks. These felt pom-poms that we can put on the Santa hat. We also have some super glue. We have some brushes, a hair dryer that we can use to dry the paint, a cup and some paper towels, our scuffing pad, and of course the Jack Skellington figure. And that's it. That's all we really need for all this. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. So the very first step we're gonna do is once you take the figure out of the package, we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of roughing up here. We're gonna take our scrubbing pad and we're gonna do a little bit of micro abrasion. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna help the primer or the white coat stick to the figure so it won't fall off later. So after you do your scrubbing, you're gonna to wanna to pull the hand apart from the chest. So you just take a little bit of tug and pull it right off. And the reason why we do this is so that we can get into the little crevices and things in there. So our next step, we're gonna take our titanium white, and this is gonna be our primer coat. This is basically gonna be the layer, the very first layer of paint we put down, and then we're gonna build the red on top. And you wanna do long strokes. You kinda of wanna pull and not push, or else you're gonna get weird streaks. And we just keep repeating this process. We're gonna take our hair dryer, and we're gonna use medium settings. And what we're gonna do is we're basically just gonna hit it for a minute and we're gonna fully dry this first layer out in case we miss some spots. So after the paint is dry, we're gonna continue with that step. We're gonna add additional white layers so that we can put the red layer on top of it. So after we're done with the primer coat, we're gonna apply the red coat. What we're gonna do is the same technique. We're just gonna apply even coats till we get it to where we want it. Now we're gonna take our felt paper, we're gonna cut out little strips like this, and now we're gonna super glue them to his cuffs. And we're gonna wrap it around, and you're gonna hold it for five seconds there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to continue to go all the way around, we're gonna do that to all four segments here, and then we'll be done with that portion.
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the beard now, and what I like to do is cut a little square, put it up to his face to get a, a size, and then kind of pinch it off where I wanna cut it. So with our little pinch here, we're gonna use that as kind of the guideline of where our edge is, and I'm gonna cut out the part where his chin's gonna be. And now I'm gonna cut out the beard part. So now that we created the beard, we're gonna take these two felt pieces to create the Santa hat. So for the Santa hat, we're gonna cut a curve into it because it's a round head. And now we're gonna apply the, apply the Santa hat. Generously put some super glue along the edges right here. And you're gonna to wanna to push it all together. So now that we applied the hat, we're gonna actually make his belt. So we're gonna cut this little piece of black felt here and this little square little buckle with the white felt that we have left over. So if you made it to this far, congratulations. The last thing we're gonna do is the cherry on top. We're gonna to put his little pom-pom on top of his head. So we're gonna add a little bit of glue and stick it right to there. And there you have it. You've created a custom. Wow, this is truly incredible. It really is a transformation from Jack Skellington into Sandy Claus. And you could actually do the same thing in game with a Sandy Claus power disc. Well, that's amazing. We also would like to see some of your creations. Yeah, definitely tag us, hashtag Disney Infinity or at Evilos Art and show us what you've created using these techniques. And don't be afraid also, this is, seems very overwhelming, but everyone's got creativity in them. They can totally do this. Yeah, you don't have to be professional. Just have fun Absolutely, with it. Absolutely, have fun. All right, guys, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Next up, let's check out Darth Maul's Fury, an exclusive character adventure toy box for Darth Maul. Searching for revenge for his defeat at the hands of Obi-Wan Kenobi, Darth Maul becomes stranded on the lava-covered mining planet of Mustafar. He learns General Grievous is there, searching for data about the location of a secret holocron. As Darth Maul, you will search for data cubes on Mustafar to open your way to a damaged Jedi ship and then save Darth Maul's home planet, Dathomir, from General Grievous and recover the holocron before he does. Uncover the rest of the story of this new toy box, Darth Maul's Fury, by downloading it for free from community content under developer picks from the main menu. Okay, Infiniteers, that's all we have for this week's episode. You guys keep working on those December leaderboard challenges. And remember, the deadline to rank is my birthday, which is December 31st at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Check back tomorrow for Disney Infinity 3.0 tips and tricks, and again on Thursday, where we will announce the winners of the Good Dinosaur Challenge. Have an awesome week. Hope you guys are having a really, really happy holiday season. And remember, if you can dream it, you can do it.